What's up guys, today I'll be building my first gaming PC uh, with these parts right here and I'll give you a rundown of what's all in this build. The case for this build is the Inwin 101 uh, white case with the tempered glass. It looks really sick and it's going to look really good with LEDs. Uh, followed by the Rogstrix B350F gaming motherboard uh, by Asus. Then we have the Asus Rogstrix gaming 580 graphics card. For RAM, uh, we have the G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM uh, at 16 gigabytes at 3200. Um, there's two of them. And, uh, this, and it's, it's RGB. It's really nice. For the processor, I went for the Ryzen 5 uh, 1600X processor at uh, 3.6 gigahertz and with the turbo at 4.0 at 4. Since the processor doesn't come with a CPU cooler because it's the overclocked version, um, I'm using the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240L with RGB. So that'll all sync up with the case lighting. For hard drives, I went with the Western Digital M.2 250GB SSD. Um, and then I'm also going to be putting another 1TB in. The power supply I'm going with is the RM650X power supply, 650 watt with gold plus. What you're going to need for this build is uh, an Allen wrench, some uh, tweezers in there, and uh, a jackknife that hopefully has a uh, Phillips screwdriver in it. Just kidding! Uh, don't watch the uh, do, do, do not watch the Verge's um, the tutorial on how to build a PC. They're wrong. You need to get an actual screwdriver. More screwdrivers. More screws. Just, just, just think with your head. Okay, first thing we're gonna start with motherboard. Got some stickers. Save cables. Extra LED cable. And there we go. I'm gonna switch camera views because that you can see it. Oakley dokely. I'm going to put the M.2 in first. Well, that took a long time to start. There we go. Screw. One thing is. Okay. There it is. Push that up. And plops. Right in. Yeah, it's in. And we just do that, and now it's in. Cool old beans. Okay. Ram time. Ooh. No, there's not. Wait, there is. There's a peely thingy. Ta-da! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is shiny. Look at how shiny. Oh, you can't really see. Let's zoom, let's zoom in on that. Nah. Okie doke. Okay, make sure you check with your motherboard to see uh, which, which, um, ah, what is that? Okay, a sticker. Um, to see which, which dins you go in. Dins? Things? Um, mine says, uh, the first two here. And then second two if you have more. But I'm only doing two. Also, these only go in one way. So make sure. You don't put them this way. Oh, this thing. Good. Oh no. Cool. Dose. In. And that's most of everything. Uh, correction. I'm, uh, the manual's done. So this actually has to go in the fourth slot. Okay, it's in. Okay, now that we're done this, time to open that beast. Cool. Okay. Um, 
backs off, fronts off. Um, cool thing about this case, it's got these cool hard drive things that you can take out. Uh, it's plastic though, but they're still they're still pretty sturdy. So I'm going to be using one of them. And if I can get it back in, there we go. And they they're they're, they're pretty nice. Um, cables. There's a couple cables I'm going to do before I actually put this in. Just route them. Um, because that's what a guy said to do online. In this case, because we got a power supply up top and uh, it makes cabling more tricky. We got a cool little travel bag now uh, with this uh, Corsair cables and we got powered by a Corsair logo which is uh, I think it's metal or it might be plastic. I don't know. It's pretty nice. And they're all in. Ugh. Where's the shield? That's what I'm looking for. There we go. And then it's got a little bit of slide. Gotcha. Red wire, blue wire, push down on the wire. They do not give you a lot of room for this. So, uh, my camera died, and I finally got this in, though. Uh, so, I had to, like, route the motherboard cable, power cable, right there, underneath that thing. That took a long time to get in. And then there's the audio cable at the bottom there. Um, for the headphone jacks on the case. Okay, now I'm going to install the... Uh, what is it called? Oh, it's a CPU cooler. Okay, so uh, there's thermal paste on the CPU. I put this mammoth together. You can't see it. You don't want to put it. There we go. Uh, and now I'm going to put it on. Slide down like that. Whew. Got it in. There we go. Okay, everything's finally installed. Now I just have to do some wiring. I tried fixing the graphics card from sagging, but it's it's pretty good now. Um, yep. So now we just have to wire it. Okay, now it's time to cable manage this. So, I got it all wired up. I still need to put in a hard drive up there, so I'm still probably gonna rip some of this out and do it over again. Uh, but let's put the back on. And everything fits. Also, my fans didn't come in yet, um, and one there uh, yet, so I'm just running the system with these two fans and they're out taking air. And then there's also the power supply fan there, so it should be okay for now, uh, but yeah. Okay, so everything is powered up and alive. I'm gonna flip the switch. We got lights and power button. Woohoo! It's beautiful. Oh, now we just have to install Windows. So, got to the boot menu. Um, we're going to reboot from the Windows Drive. And there we go. Uh, we are in the boot menu. English, English, keyboard. Yay, we now have the Windows screen of greatness. Cool. Get rid of the people bar. Haha, <laughs> there's the people. <laughs> okay. And there's the final system with everything on. Yeah.